Hi, this is Leonard from Cosmic Sound and welcome to another in our studio series of presentations. Today it's all about audio interfaces and I'm going to take you through first of all some features of the audio interface, um, talk to you a bit about why you would want to get one of these things and then I'm going to compare a few models for you. So let's get straight into it. So why do you need an audio interface? Well, some of you may be thinking you've already got one built into your computer, which is of course absolutely true, but these audio interfaces are not designed for music production or recording. Um, so the ones that you'll find in a music shop are, and they're usually gonna be an external interface, they'll be USB or Firewire, um, and the major things that they will contain are high quality microphone preamps for recording and also high quality analog to digital converters for getting sounds into your computer and of course back out to your speakers for monitoring. So generally the price of the interfaces will be affected by a couple of things. First of all, the quality of the preamps and converters, and secondly, the number of inputs and outputs on the interface. Uh, this will be especially important to people that are doing a lot of recording, especially if you want to get into drum recording, you need to have, say, eight microphones. So I'm going to run you through a few options now. Um, first of all, let's start with a lower priced one. This one is the PreSonus Audio Box. Um, obviously it's made by the company PreSonus. They make very, very nice uh, high quality products. Um, as you can see, this one's very solidly built as well. It's all metal, so if you want to throw it around a bit, this would be a really good option. Um, the reason this is a basic one is that you only get two inputs on the front, and these will double. You can use them either for microphones or for line level inputs, or you could plug an instrument straight into it. Um, you have very simply just a couple of controls for gain of your instrument. And then on the back, you just have um, main outputs, um, a headphone port, and MIDI in out. This is a USB sound card as well, so you'll be able to use it on absolutely any computer. So um, this is a really, really nice little product. It also comes with PreSonus's own software, Studio One, um, which is actually a really great program. So for the money, these are actually a really good interface. You get quite decent converters and preamps. Um, of course, there are other two in, two out sound cards on the market that'll give you better clarity and um, pr more precision. Um, so if you're looking for a more expensive one, definitely check those out. Something like the Apogee Duet would be a good option. Um, but yeah, as I said, for the money, these are really good. Um, PreSonus also do a pretty huge range of products. So anywhere from this two in, two out sound card, and they work up right up to 19 inch rack size um, audio interfaces that'll give you eight mic preamps. Um, so PreSonus this is definitely a good brand to keep in mind. If we move on from there, um, the next brand we'd go up to will be Focusrite. Um, these are particularly renowned for their microphone preamps. Focusrite always do very, very nice quality preamps. And this particular sound card is um, a relatively new range called the Scarlet series. Um, and it's a USB range of sound cards. Um, Focusrite also have a pretty large range of Firewire sound cards called Sapphire. For this particular one, um, it gives us two mic preamps on the front. Again, we can plug instruments directly in here. We've also got headphones on the front for monitoring back. Um, just a couple of knobs here for gain control and monitoring. And if we move to the back, we get an extra pair of line inputs. So this is gonna be great if you wanted to plug a synth in or some other stereo source or indeed two other mono sources. Um, we've got um, four mono outputs here, so you can use those either as a stereo pair uh, for monitoring uh, through your speakers, or you may be able to use those for sending to effects, uh, whatever you want to do with those really. Simple MIDI in and out, and also SPDIF in and out. Now this is the digital format, so you actually have two channels in, in and out here as well if you have another device that's compatible to plug in. So this is a USB 2 interface, which technically has as much bandwidth as a Firewire. Um, Firewire is definitely renowned as being more stable, however. Um, you should probably note as well that in the last few years, many sound cards were USB 1. So make sure if you're looking for um, a, an interface that has more than two preamps on there, um, or more than two inputs that you're going to use at one time, make sure it is USB 2 and that will guarantee that you can record all those things at once. Alright, so next up let's take a look at a relatively new product from Native Instruments. Um, this is the Complete Audio 6. Native Instruments have been making audio interfaces for quite a while. Um, the previous model before this was the Audio Control 1. And as you can see, this looks relatively similar. It's all metal casing on the outside. Very, very solid. You could pretty much drop this off a building and it'd probably still be all right. Um, you've got quite a bit of pluggability here as well. You've got your two inputs on the front, which are either microphone or instrument. And on the back, we've got MIDI in out. We've got SPDIF like a lot of the others. We've also got an extra pair of ins and outs here, as well as your main outputs there as well. Um, the USB ports on these are very sturdy as well. So if you're worried about um, your cable coming out, especially if you wanted to use this in a live application, this is a really, really nice sound card to look at. 
So you also get a really great software bundle usually with Native Instruments audio interfaces. Um, this particular model will come with Cubase LE as your workstation software. You'll also get complete elements, um, which just gives you a little sampling of all the different instruments you'll get in Native Instruments Complete, their flagship bundle of software instruments. Um, and you'll also get a light edition of Tractor as well if you wanted to get into a bit of DJing. These are a very popular sound car. We get asked about these a lot. So if you're after a mid-priced audio interface that still has really nice, decent converters and preamps, really nice one to have a look at. So next up, we're going to take a look at one by Avid, and this one is their new M-Box. So it's their third generation M-Box. Um, they have been drastically improved over the previous generation. Um, the preamps are much better, and it's generally considered that the converters in these are a lot better as well. These are absolutely rock solid, built really well. Just to go run through the features of the interface, on the front you've got two instrument inputs um, and your headphones, but to get back to these inputs, they're actually doubled up with the two inputs on the back, so you can only use front or back for each input. Um, so technically there are only two analog inputs on this one. You still have a pair of analog outputs to run to your speakers, and you still have um, digital in-out as well, which will give you two channels um, each way. MIDI in-out, and this one's a USB as well. Um, Avid, of course, make a huge range of different products. Um, this is their mid-level one. There's also a Mini, and there's also an Mbox Pro, um, and they also do a couple of 19-inch rack-sized interfaces. So also another consideration when you're buying your audio interface might be what software it comes with. So if you're actually looking at wanting to use Pro Tools, um, it's possibly a good idea to look at these sound cards because they will come with it. If you know you want to use Ableton Live, for example, you might want to go with a Focusrite interface. It's not the only decision you should be looking at when you buy your interface, but it's certainly an extra thing that you can take into consideration. So Avid products are also used in professional studios. The HD systems are very popular in the professional recording industry and also the film industry. Um, so another consideration, of course, is going to be if you want to go to a professional studio with the session you've recorded at home, um, then Pro Tools might be a great option, which might make this sound card a great option for you. So just keep that one in mind. So next up, we're going to take a look at one by M Audio. And this one is called the Profire 2626. And um, I just wanted to show you one of these 19 inch size interfaces just to give you an idea of what they can do compared to the smaller tabletop ones. So the first thing you notice is you've got a lot of knobs on the front here. Um, and these are all to control individual inputs. And if we flip around to the back, you'll notice we've actually got full eight mic preamps on here. Now this is really good if you want to do drum miking or if you wanted to record an entire session all in one go. Um, you've also got um, quite a lot of audio outputs as well, which can be really good for routing um, to a mixer or if you wanted to run out to different effects units and back in for processing externally. Um, you've also got two optical in and out ports and this will give you an extra eight inputs and outputs on each one. So if you have a eight channel mic preamp equipped with optical output, you can connect that to these and you can give you up to 24 different microphones um, all running through this one interface. So next I'm going to move on to Motu. Um, these guys make an awesome range of products. There are heaps of them out there now and there's actually more coming out all the time. Um, they do some really nice little portable units like this and some larger 19 inch rack size units as well. Uh, this particular one is called the Motu Ultralight um, and it doubles in a number of different ways. It's really good in the studio um, just for plugging things in and out such as microphones and uh, line level instruments. Um, but it's also really good as a live tool as well to be used on stage. Um, it's built absolutely rock solidly, so there's not much you can do to really hurt this thing. Um, but it actually works as a standalone mixer as well, so you would actually don't need a computer connected to it to do that. You can just run it on external power and use it to mix. Um, just to go into the features of this one, you've got two mic preamps on it. There's one on the front, um, one on the back as well. Um, there's not a lot else on the front except for your screen, um, some knobs here to actually adjust all your settings. But if you move to the back, you'll see you've got heaps of line inputs and outputs. Um, there are another six of them on the back here. These are inputs. And we've got a full eight outputs on the back as well, as well as your main outputs here as well. Um, you've also got um, SPDIF again, if you have any digital devices that you need to get in and out of here. Um, we have got MIDI in and out. 
And most importantly, this is a Firewire and USB interface, so you can use it um, with any computer that you want to. It's a hybrid interface. So for example, if you're already using your Firewire port for a hard drive, you can connect it via USB, or indeed if you run out of USB ports, you can connect it via Firewire. It'll work with either. So Moto also do um, a lot of other different products as well. Um, these are getting towards the higher end of the professional range. Um, they do some really nice preamp models as well. Um, and also a pretty large range of 19 inch rack size units um, including the 828, 896, the Travel is a really nice one as well. So definitely check out Moto if you're looking for something a little bit um, higher priced and a little bit more professional. So next up let's take a look at RME. Um, this is a really, really nice company. They make some very, very nice products. Um, this is the Fireface 400. Um, to look at it, you don't really see a lot going on, but I can tell you the converters in these things are exceptional. Um, it'll give you a really nice open sound, really crisp tops, really across the board frequencies are going to sound amazing. So if you're after a really, really nice sound card, um, if you don't mind spending a little bit extra, this is the perfect one to go for. Um, there are heaps of features on here as well on the back. Um, we've got uh, two Firewire ports so that you can um, daisy chain or plug some other Firewire device in so you don't lose your Firewire connection on your computer. Um, we've got a few balanced outputs and inputs as well. It's also got um, optical in and out on here as well. So if the two mic preamps weren't enough for you, you can definitely get an external microphone preamp and still use this audio interface. So this interface also has particularly good mixing software that comes with it that enables you to route um, your ins and outs with the inside software. Moto also has a similar thing, as do a lot of these, but um, the, it's particularly good on um, RME interfaces. So just one final one we'll take a look at, which is the sound card we've got in the rack here. And this is the Orpheus by Prism Sound. Um, like the others, it gives you a whole range of inputs and outputs, but the thing to mention about this one is that it's up there with the absolute best in the world in terms of conversion. So if you're after an audio interface, it's going to give you the absolute best quality you could possibly imagine. That is the one to go for. We've only just started stocking these and we're very excited about it. Um, it's a highly renowned product, so if you want to take a closer look at one of these, please pop into the store anytime and we can give you a demo. So today we've been taking a look at a few different audio interfaces and hopefully you've got a bit of a picture on um, what's out there in the market and what's best for you. So your considerations, numbers of preamps, uh, quality of preamps and converters. Also another one which I haven't mentioned to this point is sample rate. If you're wanting to work at very high sample rates like 96k or 192 kilohertz, uh, not all of these interfaces will do that. So definitely uh, check this out before you make your purchase if you're wanting to work at those higher sample rates. We carry all these products in store at both of our Cannington and Osborne Park branches. Uh, or if you'd like to purchase online, please have a look at cosmic.com.au.